Oh my gosh, everyone, people have lost their mind out there. We're seeing day after day increasing violence on both a personal and a massive scale. I got asked just yesterday, why are these things happening? And I consulted with a friend of mine who is a psychologist. And we started talking about a, an inept or an innate person's ability to handle trauma and the things that are happening around them. We talked about how the divisive nature and how for years and years there's been a pattern of behavior in negative U.S. politics. And that pattern of behavior was that every presidential election, they would ramp people up saying, absolutely hate your neighbor if they're this hate your neighbor if they're this. They would divide the country, but then there would be some resolution after the presidential election would take place. After about uh, two elections, three elections ago, they started to witness a phenomenon. That phenomenon was that the individual didn't lose the hate that they have purposefully placed in your mind. Now, this combined with an economic crisis, a world war, the fact that they shut down the country and paid you $3 a day to lose your money, lose your house, lose your car, lose your will in many cases, that has caused a massive breaking in the populace. We started seeing this a couple of months back when we reported on local law enforcement outlets saying that they had alerts from the FBI and from multiple levels of government warning that rising violence was coming. They said the individual needs to remain aware of their surroundings and take caution to simple mundane parts of life. That meant that going to the grocery store, going to the mall, heading uh, out to take your children to school, driving to or from work needed to be operated like some sort of mission. And that is not a place that a lot of people can even get into in their head. They don't want to think about walking to their car might cause them to get mugged. They don't want to have concern that their young daughter running on the trail might have her snatched off. They don't want you to think that going to the mall to spend your money that you can't really afford to and putting it on credit could be the last purchase you make in your life. They want you to believe that your children should go to school and they'll be safe there. They want you to think that you need to go to work every day for their system. And because people are no longer able to cope and maintain good, solid mental health, uh, mental health foundations in this environment, we're seeing massive breaks in per, uh, the person, the individual's ability to contain themselves. One little thing, road rage, sends them off and they're shooting at the cars next to them. One little thing, an argument on the street or laughing at somebody, and now you've got a head, uh, head getting curb stomped into the ground. One little thing, and you have massive violence on a personal and a national scale. Now, that individual in the psychological field that I talked to warned of what comes next. What comes next is this transforming into some sort of riot or mob mentality. They warn that we are at a spark point, a trigger point right now where just one national point of view, one action could cause the entire country to be up in arms. We could see that civil war. We could see those riots in the streets like we did at the beginning of the pandemic. We could see the unrest hitting every single city from rural America to the massive cities where millions of people reside. We could see in the next six months chaos unleashed across this country and every nation that we are fighting against in this war, that's Russia, that's China, that's Iran, and every other nation that America has ever done wrong knows this. And so they, according to outlets in open source intelligence, are right now purposefully placing out the beginning stages of this next chaotic action. So keep a close eye, a careful eye, that when you start to see people gravitate towards a cause, when you start to see people share anger against one item or one action in particular, we might be witnessing a coordinated attack on the American populace. This is something that you need to get ready for. I hope that you and your family are taking your kids to school if you take them to school, going to work if you go to a workplace, going to the mall, going to the grocery store. And if and when you are, I hope that you are remaining aware of the environment around you. What happened to those girls recently when that guy was about to go to court for his own uh, you know, problems? That they got snatched right off the trail. Horrible, despicable things. 
This is the reality of where we live and where we stand today. So you and me, it is up to us to stand up tall and know exactly what time it is. It's a time for you to know going outside is not just a safe white picket fence, 19, uh, you know, 10s, early 1900s place. No, instead, we are living in an environment where they have percolated the hatred of the American people against each other. They have divided you by race, by religion, by politics, by economic status, and they sit on top. You see them, they don't care. You'll see multiple different races, multiple different religions. The people who are really controlling the puppet strings, they are all laughing together. Why? Because they know at the end of the day, if they keep you and if they keep me divided and hating and, and hurting each other, then we won't ever turn our face towards them. That is exactly what they want. So just take this as a warning. We're hearing it from the police. We've heard it from the FBI. We're hearing it from psychologists. We're seeing it on the news. These things are happening right now. And anybody who tells you that it's not really that bad is just purposefully denying reality. This is a world at war. And in this world war, I want you to look not just to America, but what's happening across the world. Construction sites near the Federal Security Service, the FSB Academy, in the Russian capital of Moscow have been witnessed on fire. Why? Sabotage. They say it's either the Americans, members of NATO, or Ukraine. Israel has advanced its military preparations for a multifaceted all-out war against Iran. The Air Force has said that it is in readiness mode for a wartime strike operation that it defines as good at this time. It has suffered through one year of intensive training to boost its ability to an excellent level. The U.S. government is warning right now that confidence in America's ability to govern the world is coming to an end. They warn that we are looking at the first time, for the first time, that the U.S. could make, uh, would fail to make its payments that are due. China added to this. It's adding to its own gold reserves for a sixth straight month, 8.09 tons of gold. We have hell, is, according, is a quote coming out of Ukraine. The different regions are on fire and the militants of the armed forces of Ukraine are saying that there is a panic mode. They are being attacked and flooded with fire. The Ukrainian military has gotten in touch with their acquaintances and uh, inside of NATO and inside of the U.S. and they're writing on social media that an activation has begun. Russian artillery is hitting the Ukrainians hard. The enemy is making progress, they say, and the analysts warn that what comes next will be a fight against Europe. We're looking at some of the images from lines outside of shops. We have been watching these images from the 1930s, 1920s. When hyperinflation, a crisis, struck America in 1923, one image in particular that we looked at showed people trying to purchase basic foodstuffs as prices continued to rise. This is what the future of your city in America is going to look like. Forty, fifty, ninety dollar bags of rice, but people lined up to get them because they'd rather not starve. Warren Buffett has warned that nobody knows how far you can go with a paper currency before it gets out of control. Particularly, he says, if you are the world's reserve currency. Here is a quote from hundreds of years ago. Paper money eventually returns to its intrinsic value. Zero. I don't know if that was exactly 100 years ago, but I do know that that is a, uh, a, an affirmation of what we are seeing. What we are witnessing right now is that they have taken something that was backed by a commodity. Your dollar used to be backed by its value in real precious metals. They have taken it and turned it to a value of only confidence, and they have worked to strip the confidence out of that value. And so now what you're left with is actual paper. 
We're seeing leaked U.S. intelligence documents revealing more about the feud that is taking place between the fighters working for the Russian Ministry of Defense, in particular Wagner. The Russian Defense Ministry was clearly concerned about recent abilities or inabilities to fight. They say that a Kremlin ban on multiple people sharing their thoughts on Telegram or social media has taken place. The Russian Defense Ministry claims that it did not give weapons directly to militant outlets that are fighting for it, but they got them from task forces in the region. Now they have said that what is happening there right now is a slaughterhouse. It is nothing that you or your family want to see or be involved in, but yet that's the future that we could see in America. We're witnessing right now reports of Western officials asking Ukraine to not fight to liberate Crimea because they fear it will draw a nuclear or a severe kinetic response from the nation of Russia as Russia works to extend itself beyond Ukraine. Officials have updated and are now confirming that a recent explosion that took place at a Shell refinery in Deer Park, Texas, USA, that injured multiple people. They say it's unclear exactly what caused this explosion and nothing there at the time should have allowed that to happen. People on the ground say that it's probably sabotage because we are seeing the U.S. and Ukraine do the exact same thing to Russia in Russian territory. We're witnessing, according to economists, the second largest surge in credit card debt in human history. They say it's just in time for record high credit card rates to really separate the haves from the have-nots. The Middle East produces about a third of the world's crude oil. You have Russia, Qatar, and Iran accounting for just around 60% of the world's gas reserves. They say that there was no chance that the BRICS could expand. And then today, 19 nations and more coming on the way have expressed an interest in joining the BRICS away from America. And they have said that they are all heavily commodity-based countries, and it is commodities that they value, no longer the currency that is the United States dollar. The whole realm of the world is changing. All these nations are looking for alternatives to the USA. When do the rats jump ship? They don't jump ship when the ship is floating. They jump ship when it is sinking. And so when we see each one of these countries moving away from the USA, we look back to recent events that have seen U.S. politicians funded and backed by either China, as we see in some cases, or Russia, as we have seen in others. And we know that the world that we were told to believe in has been a lie all along. China and Russia are working to introduce a new world order one that replaces America as a leading global power. Behind the scenes, we are seeing things like JP Morgan holding massive amounts of gold derivative short positions that are larger than the bank's total assets. JP Morgan Chase, which is one of the largest banking giants in the world, they say they're going to be in serious trouble if the price of gold spikes by another $1,000. And so you're going to see these black swan events continue to manipulate the entire world. Stephen Lieb, one of the world's top money managers, has said that the bank's massive gold derivative position is so numerous, so large, that they may exceed the entirety of the bank's assets. And if you see a run, you're going to see the whole market fall apart in its place. Lieb warns that if the true price of gold is ever discovered, corrupt banks will be no more. The entire banking sector of the world will fall apart. When you sort through all these derivatives, they warn, what JP Morgan and the banks likes in their short positions have, they imagine it being much more than the assets of the company. And if gold takes off and it gets out of control, it will be a KD bar the door position in the world over. It's worth noting that mega banks, including JP Morgan, are playing with fire. They're using excessive shorting positions that will sink them into oblivion when the final straw is pulled. Now, we're being asked right now, when is that going to happen? When are you going to see America crumble or fall to ashes? It's not an overnight thing. And without the power of a country, you know, when, when the U.S. went to the Middle East, like when we went to Libya, 
liberated that country. Look at how well that went. When we went in there and liberated all these other nations, look at how well that is going. When that happened, it was because you had firepower superiority and the backing of the majority of the westernized world saying, go do this. Instead, what you have right now is the USA, which used to hold power in just that name alone, in the name of its currency. Now, everybody else is starting to back away. They're basically, you know, when you have everybody saying, uh, you know, who will stand up for the USA? Used to be just hands from all of the countries. And now you see them sitting quietly, their head bowed to the ground because no one is going to follow the US into oblivion. Consumer borrowing in the USA has surpassed expectations in March. They say a significant surge in balances is taking place, marking the largest spike on record. Banks are failing and consumers are maxing out their credit cards just to stay afloat. I want you to look at what is happening in North America. Over the last 20 years, Canadian home prices have quadrupled. Overall inflation in Canada has increased almost 50%, but the salaries of the people have only went up 4%. This is the world that they are beckoning, one where they will create a new world order out of the ashes of the old world order. And it's going to be up to you, me and our families, to try to stay afloat with what comes next. I wanna to get to a question from our viewers here. This is from Divine Info. Question, I have a buddy that offered me industrial liquid storage tanks. Should I keep them above ground or underground? I will have to dig holes if that's the case. I understand that filtering is mandatory. I've created a funnel to collect natural precipitation and a relief valve. Love to all you do, Brad. So if, you're, if these are safe, to use tanks, which I don't know the uh, validity of, of the, their ability to be safe to store water in, uh, then it's really up to you. If you keep them above ground and they're not of a material that can withstand uh, environmental differences, can withstand UV, things like that, you're of course going to have more algae growth. You're going to have more problems because of the fluctuation in temperature. If they can withstand being underground, that's a better place for them, in my opinion. Lord Winter, question. Do you think it would be a good idea to empty out bank accounts and put our cash in our safes in homes to preserve it for emergencies? Brad, keep the news up. We need to know what's coming. Stay safe, keep watch, and have a good day. So should you empty out your bank account and put it in your home safe? It's a lot more personally vulnerable in your home safe. If you're like the majority of the population and you don't have $250,000 in your bank account, it's going to be safe under the FDIC until you see that crumble and bust. While that is still in existence, under, while FDIC insurance is still existing, it's going to be safer in the bank for that reason alone. Now, somebody will narc on you. Somebody will tell on you if you're moving $259,000 out of the bank into your home. I would never ever advocate that. You will find an arc. So do you want to be on the brunt edge of that? I don't. And I don't want you to be. Uh, you know, my family, my great grandparents and my grandparents, they stuffed money and they stuffed physical metals into the walls, into safes they built into their house that no one would ever know. They built their houses around a safe or they came in and built it after in concrete. Now, a lot of our positions today don't you know, give us that ability, but if you have the ability to really store a good cash, well, it might be a good idea to keep enough for you there. Again, not, uh, you know, this, isn't, this is just my opinion, not any sort of financial advice, but you might wanna have the ability to have money on hand. Is it safe in the bank? Yes, if you fall within those guidelines, is it safe in your house? It's only as safe as you can keep it. The cops aren't gonna be in a hurry to get there and if someone steals it from you, no insurance is gonna give it back. Just take that into consideration, but do what you're doing right now and be thinking about these things because that's how you're ready. You realize what's going on in the world and you say, how can I create a fire break for me and my family against this wildfire? And this is how we do it in this community. So I wanna thank each and every one of you for being here today. All of our members on Patreon, make sure that you check us back here tomorrow for more headlines from America and from around the world. The things that you need to know to make good and sound decisions for your future. If you're interested, you can check out contingencymedical.com and use the code FSS10 for antibiotics that are sent from a real doctor. You don't go and get them from some uh, inter international source. They're not animal antibiotics, they are real antibiotics. 
Also, if you're looking for food storage, long-term food storage that has the nutrients kept inside of it, meals that are ready to eat, check out contingencymedical.com forward slash FSS. Use the code FSS15 for a 15% discount there. I don't get any commission. I don't get anything. What you get is that discount for you alone. Please, everyone, just stay safe. Keep watch. Love the people around you. You know what time it is. It's time to get ready. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Good luck, everyone.